uh, indicator and tool wise we have covered mm, almost everything so the next I will get into is creating and um, setting up a DOM and from the DOM then the DOM actually do you know what I might just create the so let's create let's create the um, let's create the inventory heat map first actually do you know what that's the easiest thing to do let's create the heat map first and then we'll that will lead us nicely into the DOM so let me just return this guy to the size we need it and let's get into the next chart do that let's pick the best one to duplicate is probably going to be what was this correlations again this is probably the easiest one's a time-based chart let's go with the correlations chart as a duplicate so let's duplicate the chart just minimize this guy again and let's just change the name oh let's open it up first maximize and we just simply to delete the studies off this guy <coughs> Remove, start fresh, apply. Okay, go in. Let's go to our F5. And we'll just go through the setup process. Uh, let's change the name first. Inventory heat map. Okay, perfect. So this is going to be our inventory heat map or our, our source. And apply. Let's change that. Okay, perfect. Right, so next step, let's change this to a nice low time. So we've got minute by minute, we've got 400 days, we've got our session, everything else is perfect in here. We don't have to do anything. We leave this blank because we're going to put our study on top. Uh, as previous, we've got our advanced settings, everything the same, advanced setup, setup, setup. And we can get into, yeah, we're getting to the, actually, so, that, so that's what I'll do. Um, go through this. I'll go through the linking. Okay, perfect. The linking of this next. Okay, that's, that's, that's fine. Okay, apply. Okay, so we create our initial chart. Right, next we want to go to our studies, F6. And for this one, we want to get our market depth. So, M for market. Market depth historical graph. Add and settings. Back to our settings and inputs. So, like previously, let's just make sure we get this right. So, you can come in and you can change these into, into different colors. I know uh, some people out there like to change the yellow to blue and blue to whatever color, but I'm going to actually leave these the same. I like to leave. I like the yellow and the blue. So, just leave them as as is. Make it easy. Um, then we'll go through each of these settings. Right, one inheritance. We want this to be overlaid as before. Then we're just going through our uh, use percentage or actual values. So let's just change that to actual values. And this is going to be what we see or what's actually inventory sitting on the DOM. Basically, is what we want to see. And we want to see it clearly. And we want to see above a certain number. In some cases, and we change that. We'll get it. We'll get into that in the actual in the inventory heat map module. But for this purposes, we just go through the settings as before. Um, we'll just leave all these settings the same. Minimum volume intensity percentage. Uh, we can change that. Let's see. Let's make it a bit higher. Go up to seventy-five here. Color. So color values greater than highest quantity for coloring yes and we want actual value and then we want the highest quantity for coloring so the highest quantity for coloring um, and right now the highest no we don't want the highest we leave the highest quantity for coloring zero and we want a value type lowest quantity so the lowest quantity for coloring highest quantity for coloring yes so we want to leave and then lowest quantity for coloring yes lowest quantity for coloring we want to have this we don't want anything so no sorry highest let me just get my okay so the highest quantity we want above so the highest quantity for color just to make it right in my head sorry to get a bit dyslexic on things like that so depending on the day if you don't want too much the highest quantity for coloring uh, the lowest no the highest we leave it zero just <laughs> Jesus so the highest the lowest quantity for coloring that's what we want 
quantity for color, lowest quantity for coloring, which is we want to see, we don't want to see anything below this number. That's right. Okay. Be a long video. Hey, <laughs> but hopefully super valuable information here. Okay, so the lowest quantity for coloring, we will change this depending on the market conditions, but we'll get into that later. So 365, I'll leave it, or 265, I'll leave it for now, 265, I'll leave it for now. Ooh. For now, so that means that anything on the DOM below this number won't populate on our inventory heat map. Basically, okay, long story short. <laughs> so, the rest we basically leave all this the same, all this the same. Yes, last depth 100, no visible bars is here. So, we'll uh, um, maximum levels to display, maximum levels to display is zero for all. So, let's just go zero for all. Uh, one and zero. So uh, back to this guy. We will be changing this on a regular basis, uh, depending on the inventory, um, and we'll get into that as we as we um, get into that particular particular module. So that's it. Apply. Here we go. And okay. And apply. And okay. So let's see if we've got any inventory sitting at the moment. No. Now this is not a trading uh, data feed, so it's not showing. Um, it's not showing. Oh, we need to get our numbers in here. So we're missing our numbers. Just to have it, so let's go F6, missing something in here, settings. We want to see our font, so let's see. Uh, what did I leave it to? Minimum volume intensity percentage. Minimum volume intensity percentage is yeah, seven. So where's our font size? Our font size, I believe font size is zero. Okay, it's showing. Um, did I need to change? Color show quantity numbers. Aha, here's the one I'm missing. In bars after last bar, and then we got our font should be ah, there we go. So, rock and roll. I wonder, will I make that white actually? Uh, no, I'll leave it. You, we can see it. We can see it in here. Uh, with that. Okay, apply. Okay, and as you can see, what I was referring to. Just talking about the number in here, the 179. This is just, just the quantities that are shown. We just want to see those, that's all. Um, this isn't connected to a trading data feed, it's only connected for the school just to um, to the minor data feed. So it's not going to show everything. And actually, it's quite time prior to the open, so we're not going to see everything. Anyways, I'll just change it for example to see if we can see more data. If I just reduce this 265, let's make it to 189 and see what happens. So we uh, show figures below 189 even not that it's given it's not populating it anyways because they're because of the data that we have available okay no big deal right so that's that the next study we want to apply onto this guy is our bid ask uh, let's go to our f f6 and we simply want to apply our bid and ask Prices of B. Uh, doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. Bid and ask prices. Here we go. Let's add this guy across. Again, we go to our settings. And simply we'll just go through the setup of this guy. So bid, again, keeping it in line. We we'll leave our, uh, I will change this to our blue. I select blue color. Okay, uh, change it to a stair step is a nice easier way to look at it. What's this called? It's called the bid. And uh, we went, oh, stair step. There we go. Solid. Mm, you can make it a one, I suppose. Yeah, we leave it as one. And that will do. We can put the name label and the value label. Okay. Let's do the same for our ask. Get a stair step. Where's our stair step gone? Stair step solid name label value label apply apply and okay apply and okay so where is our price at the moment it is up here here we go we just have our data is not coming in but this will be nice and populated on your charts when you recreate it and you'll see it when you're on the trading data it will populate accordingly okay apply so next we want to 
just add our final study and this is on this to show us the, the large um, large business getting done and that's simply yeah it's going to be personal preference um, large come on oh here we go large volume trade indicator perfect let's add this guy over and the same as before we'll just go into the settings oh, we'll just go into the settings of this guy for this simply the same um, volume thresholds change capabilities uh, you can change this number depending again on your own personal preference. Let's see, I'll go with numbers above, let's see, 100 maybe. Yeah, I'll go with 89 based on based on entire bar. Again, you can change these total bid threshold difference. Let me check that one. It seems to be the best. Entire bar for you know, threshold difference for me. I like to just leave these on. So let's just go back to the electric blue. To give you the idea, um, you can change these as you wish. Red and red. Okay. Indicator size, I'll make it a little bit bigger. Oh, yes, yeah, make it 10. Uh, text size, 10. Automatic indicator size. Yes, that's a good one. Uh, minimum automatic indicator four. Now we've got to go automatic indicator size so fifteen. Uh, let's go use transparent draw style. Yes, yes. All allocated bar charts. All loaded chart bars. Percentage above median. Fifty. Fifty doesn't. Yeah, fifty. I'm just going to leave that at fifty. You can change it. Uh, change it. 25 if you were to change it to whichever but okay. marker left high of bar uh, zero let's change these text colors so they're black inside so too much again square I like to change this I like to change this to a circle myself and none apply and all this is is it will show when a large position is completed. That's all that particular during this process, the sideways process. Okay. 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 Apply and okay. Okay. That is our inventory heat map complete. It's not populating correctly because we don't have the data, but here we go. Let's see actually if I put on a very low figure on it for the market depth. Let's see. Let's go 89 and see what happens. Yeah, a little bit more. Okay. But it's um ah, it's, it's populating. It's a little bit skewed here because of the um, it's not a live, it's not a, a trading point of the data feed. But there you go. You get the idea of what we're looking at, and you'll see it during the during the heat map module. And you can stick that in wherever you wish, and then just make it up. Or you can stick it up there. Oh, wait, did we name it? We did name it right now. Perfect. So you can stick that chart wherever you wish, as you wish. Stick it on another window. So let's make that smaller again. So minimize. That is our inventory heat map.